So today we're going to look at how you get rid of all this annoying advertising and all these annoying little thumbnails and apps that you perhaps don't want just with one click or push of a button on your remote control. You can have Wolf Launcher appear instead of the stock launcher. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the safest way of doing this because I have read reports that others have tried installing launch manager or launcher manager and it's caused all sorts of problems. In many cases, it's worked absolutely fine, but others have found they've ended up with a black screen and not been able to go here nor there. So I'm going to show you the safe way of doing things today. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. First of all, what we want to do is we want to download and install Downloader if you haven't got it already. So go across to apps at the top there and then go down to search for apps and games middle button and you can either type in downloader on the on-screen keyboard or if you can't be bothered to do that then you can hold down the microphone button if you've got one on your remote control and just say the word downloader. I'm going to go for the manual way just in case you haven't got a, uh, a hold to speak button so I've typed it in gone to the magnifying glass middle button and then there you go. You should see Downloader there. That's the orange and white Downloader by AFTV News in the top left hand corner of my screen. Highlight that middle button and then middle button again to start installing it. Now, this bit might take a few seconds. Just be patient. It really does depend on the speed of your Google TV and your Internet connection, too. So as you can see, mine's downloaded. It's now installing the little lines going across the screen. And there you go. Now that we've seen open there, it's now installed. So go down to open middle button. And then this is very, very important. You must allow downloader to access photos and media on your device. So make sure allow is highlighted in white middle button, middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Go up once middle button. And then in there you want to type in there two one two oh three. That's two one two. O3. Then go down to your little arrow in the bottom right hand side of the keyboard, middle button. And what's going to happen now is it's going to go to my website. Ignore any cookie notices that come up at this stage. They should disappear. There we go. If you get a cookie notice here, then manage your options or consent to it. Do whatever you must do. And then we want to just go down and keep going down until we see Wolf Launcher just down there. Put your little red circle over the picture of the wolf, middle button, and there we go. It should start to download. Now, it shouldn't take too long. It's only a small file. If you get this message come up for your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You can change this in settings and make sure settings highlighted, middle button, and then go down to downloader and where below it, it's got not allowed, middle button, and that turns that on and then just go across to install middle button and then let wolf launcher now install once it's installed go to done and then press the back button once and then if you've got this come up then go to delete middle button go to the second delete middle button and then what we want to do is want to go across to home up there middle button back button twice back button again back button again and just keep going back until you go back to the main screen. Then we want to go down and across in your apps, go to see all middle button and then we're looking for here Wolf Launcher. Highlight that middle button and Wolf Launcher will load. The first time it loads, it will be a little bit slow. It's building up all of its details there. So what we want to do here now is you might find that you've got a black background where I've got this where I've got this lovely patterned background. What I've done is I've set my own wallpaper here. So what I do, first of all, is I just grab my remote control. OK, press and hold the middle button on it and then go down to launcher settings, go into sections and I go into manage sections there and I just want to move the widgets down. So that 
when I move the widgets down, what that does is that gets rid of this sort of empty area that I've got above my applications there. So I'm just going to do that. Let's just go down to launch your settings, into sections, manage sections and highlight widgets, middle button, press the down button once, middle button, go down to close, middle button. And then if I go back now, there you go, you can see that it's closed up the gap. Something you might be thinking is, where did I get the wallpaper from? How did I get that on there? Well, I'm just going to gl gloss over this quickly because it is probably going to be another video I'm going to do later on. So press and hold the middle button on the remote control, go down to launcher settings and then go into wallpaper there. And you can go to select wallpaper. Now you have to allow Wolf Launcher to access your photos, media and files on the device. And you have to have some wallpaper uploaded to your device. Now you can do this several ways. You can transfer it from your phone. If you can find a website in your browser that you can get this from, then you can do this too. But in most cases, but this is going to be a video for another day because it is quite involved, quite in depth. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button. You subscribe to my channel so that you hear about all my latest videos, including the one on how to get wallpapers when it comes out. So let's just go back on that. The other thing I've done is in some cases I've managed to hide some of the icons I don't want. And again, you can do that by holding down the middle button on the remote control, go to launcher settings and then go down to hidden apps. And here's a list of all the apps. So I'm going to hide the Android TV remote service. I don't want that. I'm going to also hide mouse toggle. Don't need that on the screen. Play games, going to hide that. Play movies and TV is going to hide that. I'm going to leave the Play Store because I do use that. I don't use Prime Video, so I'm going to hide that. Uh, third party notices, don't need that. And yeah, that's about it really. So I press the back button now a couple of times and we're back to the main screen. And as you can see, a lot of my icons are now hidden. The next thing we're going to look at is how do you get Wolf Launcher working with your remote control? Well, what I've done is I have actually set one of these four buttons at the bottom of my remote to Wolf Launcher. So if I go back to the normal main menu and I want to go into Wolf Launcher, I just press the Disney Plus button and there you go, straight into Wolf Launcher. If I go into an app, when I'm ready to come out of it, instead of pressing the home button, if I press the Disney Plus button, there you go, I'm straight back to Wolf Launcher. Now, how do you do that part of it? Now, how do you set one of these buttons up to assign it to Wolf Launcher? So what we need to do is we need to make sure we're back to the normal stock home screen and go across to apps down to search for apps and games. And we need to search for button mapper. And there you go. It's the very first one there with the three blue icons and the black icon with the house button mapper. Remap your key. So make sure that's highlighted middle button and then middle button again to install. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. It's not a very large download. And once you see open, then go down to open middle button. And then what we need to do is we need to follow the instructions now on screen. So I'm just going to make my camera a bit smaller. So it says here, start accessibility service. Please go to system settings, accessibility and enable the button mapper accessibility service. The service is used to detect when buttons are pressed on your device so they can be remapped. If there is no accessibility settings, go to setup buttonmapper.app for more info. Right, so let's just OK that. Right, so it's taken us into all apps. So let's go back and back again and up to system and then across to accessibility and go down and find button mapper. And like mine, it should be off. Middle button, middle button again, and then middle button again. And that should switch it on. OK, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go down to add buttons, highlight add buttons, middle button, 
and then we need to go down to this add buttons here and as it says here be careful remapping certain buttons could make navigation difficult if you get stuck attach a usb mouse to your android tv to undo the changes so you've got to be very very careful here extremely careful highlight add buttons middle button on the remote control and now you want to press the button you want to add now you might be thinking i'm going to be clever i'm going to press the home button and that will turn wolf launcher on whenever i press the home button you really don't want the home button to be your default for the wolf launcher because there are times when you might need to go back into the normal home button so as i say i'm going to set mine up to disney plus so i'm going to press the disney plus button and then i'm going to go down to where it says button there middle button and it says here pro features are reserved for supporters of the app upgrading to pro unlocks all features well, we don't need to upgrade to pro to do this so just go across to no thanks there middle button and then go down to customize turn it on and then go down to single tap middle button we want to go up to actions there middle button go down to applications middle button and then we want to find wolf launcher which is probably near the bottom of this list highlight wolf launcher and then let's just test it out so let's just press the disney plus button on my remote and bang there you go wolf launcher has loaded so when you very first turn on the google tv what you will see is you will still see the normal menu the stock menu but just quickly press disney plus and there you go it goes straight in and you if you want to come out of any of the apps then best thing to do probably is to just instead of exiting out just press the button you've assigned to wolf launcher and there you go it goes straight back now that is the safest way of doing this as i said at the very very beginning of this video some users have tried to do this on certain boxes with launch manager which does automatically launch it it does reassign the home button it is it also stops the uh, the stock launcher from loading which frees up a bit of memory but a number of people have had trouble with it they've ended up being stuck with black screens and this is something i'm not prepared to risk trashing my onn box or my google tv box to try and do that i'm quite happy with just pressing one of these pre-assigned buttons to get you back into Wolf Launcher. So there you go. I hope you like this video and I hope it helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down below in the description if you want to have a look through my Amazon shop or you want to purchase a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, Fire Stick accessories, or even looking for a new VPN, then have a look through those links down there. There's some great deals for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do find any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might be interested in, then please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, have a look through my website. That's cwtek.co.uk cwtek.co.uk also if you want to hit me up on x formerly known as twitter i'm at cwtek thanks for watching see you again soon